so today I'm talking about a Honda with the P2646 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Honda P2646 code? Well, it's an A rocker arm actuator system performance stuck off bank one. And some scan tools will also give you a rocker arm oil pressure switch circuit low voltage. And so what does this mean? Well, Honda vehicles have what's called a VTEC system. And this is a good system. It can do different things. It helps the engine get better gas mileage and improves performance at higher RPMs and things like this. And there's different components inside the VTEC. But basically, the onboard computer has seen a problem with this, mainly with this oil pressure switch. But it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what are some possible causes? Well, the first thing that can cause this is low or dirty engine oil. So first thing to do is go check your engine oil. Be sure it's not really low. Also be sure it's not really dirty because oil flows through that VTEC and it can mess it up. But first thing to do is go check your engine oil. And the next possible cause is that there's something going on with the oil pressure switch that's located on the VTEC. So the next thing to do is go locate the VTEC and check it out and be sure that it's good. It's a good idea to Google where the VTEC is located on your particular Honda, since there can be some differences. If you have a V6 engine, bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder, and then the opposite of that is bank two. A four cylinder wouldn't matter, they'll only have one bank. But if you have a V6, then find the number one cylinder, that side is gonna be bank one, and that's gonna be side of the engine that's having the issue. And so for example, right here, this back side of the engine is gonna be bank one. That VTEC cylinder is gonna be located back here by the firewall, and that oil pressure switch or this VTEC is going to be located on it. It's basically just going to be a small switch that can screw in and out, that can't be tested and replaced. But be sure to check out the wiring, or basically keep in mind, anything wrong with the wiring is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad pressure switch. So be sure to check that out. One thing about this error code is that if the engine oil was dirty at some point, or it hasn't been changed regularly, then the old dirty oil can block up these little screens that are located around the VTEC. For example, right here, this one is located right down inside of here, and this has little screens inside of it, and they need to be cleaned up. And these can get dirty and clogged up with age or if old dirty oil is rolled through it. So if that oil pressure switch is good and there's no issues in the wiring, then you're gonna to wanna to check out all these little small screens there's also a solenoid right here that slides in and out. It can also get clogged up and dirty and cause issues, things like this. Some mechanics, when they get this code, they basically go clean up those screens and then they just replace the whole VTEC, which will include the pressure switch, the solenoid, and everything that's combined with it. But however you want to do it, just keep in mind that there's small little screens in there that get clogged up and can cause issues if they're not cleaned out. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Honda with the P2646 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.